Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. I'm here to help you get started with Adobe Premiere Rush CC. Adobe Premiere Rush CC is a brilliant all-in-one solution combining Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, and the audio power of Adobe Audition all into one app that works across your devices. So you can start on desktop, continue on mobile seamlessly, and it will give you professional results uh, by being able to edit templates easily or even drag in stuff from Adobe Stock. It's really, really cool, simple, and it's great for people editing social media content on the fly. I'll show you how it works. Here's a brief intro. When you load it up, you'll see here Adobe Premiere Rush CC is here with a brand new screen and your opportunity to create a new project. Go to the folder and you'll find your folders all over here in the left-hand side with your video or audio clips inside. And then select in the order you'd like them to appear in the timeline like this, one, two, three, four. Uh, you can create straight away or you can give it a title. So I'll call it Isle of White, like so. Syncing with Creative Cloud all the time so that this is available across your devices. You can also make a copy of the media if you want everything in the cloud. Click Create. It's going to prepare your media, stick it in a timeline, and you'll be ready to start editing. Now, I'm going to do a five-part tutorial series after this video, introducing you in depth to some of the great features in Adobe Premiere Rush CC, like, for instance, adding titles to your work, transitions uh, between clips, color grading, editing audio and making it sound better, and cropping and rotating. But for now, I'll just focus on the basics of getting started with this brand new app, Adobe Premiere Rush CC. Uh, now, the first couple of things, if you want to edit your audio, you can go to the bottom left here, expand audio icon. We'll make these waveforms bigger so you can see what's going on. Now, Adobe Premiere Rush CC uses some great machine learning to identify whether your clip is sound effect, as you can see here, sound effect icon, or speech. And here's the uh, person icon with a little audio clip coming out of the person, meaning that Adobe Premiere Rush CC has exactly identified that I am speaking in this clip. There's my face, I'm speaking. Uh, that will be really good later on when we come to edit audio. It gives you some new options there. Uh, so a really handy feature. And if you're used to working in Premiere Pro, well, that's not an issue either. Bottom left here, this little icon here, Control Tracks. Now you can lock or unlock tracks so that you can't move clips around. You can mute or unmute tracks if there's audio you don't want to hear. You can even show or hide the clips on a certain track. So tracks like this, so I can drag down to a second or third track if I want. Uh, I can use various different tracks, but for now, Everything is on the first track here that you can see. Uh, other things worth to note, obviously you can play back hitting the play button, like so. Or you can hit the space bar, of course, on your keyboard. It's a nice shortcut. There are other things I like to have enabled, like for instance, when I'm scrubbing through, I can't hear the audio, but you can enable that uh, by going into the sequence window, play audio while scrubbing, and this will allow you, there you go now hear the audio as you scrub through. I like to have that enabled. Other features uh, that are great to get started with this app include the full screen mode if you want to see things really nice and big. And also, you'll notice here back to the timeline view, uh, a three dot uh, icon here, preview quality. I've turned it down to low so that Adobe Premiere Rush CC is super zippy and loading things super fast for me. If you go to high quality, you might find things take longer to render and it's just uh, the slower experience overall. So I like to pull that down to low unless you're on a super fast computer. Orientation is in landscape usually. It could be portrait if you're filming on mobile, you know, the wrong way around, or square if you're working in things like Instagram. So another handy feature. Uh, loop playback, we've used that uh, before many times in Adobe Audition. Just when it gets to the end of the clips, it will start again from the beginning and loop your playback. This could also be a really handy thing. We've got the scissors icon here to cut, make a cut in clips. And say if I wanted to duplicate this first clip, just click this button and it will duplicate it right next door uh, to the original clip. So I can duplicate clips as much as I like, or I can just hit the delete button and that clip's gone. Notice how it shuffles everything up so there's never a gap in my project here in Adobe Premiere Rush CC. So like I say, these are the basics. Five videos coming over the next few days. I know this app is really brand new. It's uh, only just been released. So we'll get into the, uh, the details of what all these icons do. But just uh, uh, to finish up, let me show you a few more things. So up here, what's this circle doing? It's growing all the time. If I click on it, it will show you that it's generating optimized clips of all the videos that you've got loaded. It gives you a percentage ticker there to say how far it's got. This just optimizes your experience, makes it faster, 
and obviously it's saving all of your edits into the cloud at the same time. This button here is the undo button. You can just undo things that you've done before. Just click it as many times as you like and undo whatever you like. Um, and that's really good. There's a give feedback button here if you want to send feedback to the Adobe Premiere Rush CC team. Over here, we've got add media. So again, you can come in and add more media. You can record in a quick voiceover as I'll show you in a, a new tutorial coming on my channel soon. You've got this button here where you can see everything in your project in a nice kind of uh, project assets or media bin uh, style view if you wanna have that open. If you go back to the home screen, you can see all the projects you've been working on in Adobe Premiere Rush CC. So of course I've got this project I just created for you called Isle of Wight. Click back into it. It loads up instantly. And when I've finished and I want to share this with the world, go over to the share button here. And obviously you can share locally. You can render it out. It gives you an estimated file size. You've got presets here, mainly made for social media like Facebook and YouTube and so on. You can choose your resolution. So I'm working in 4K, but you could fall back to 1080p or 720p. Frame rates sticking at 25. You can go more though if you want. Audio channels can be stereo or mono and you can choose a basic high, medium, or low uh, quality of rendering. But you can also hook it in with things like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and even Adobe's Behance to upload your projects directly to these platforms. Really, really handy. This is just the start of amazing things to come, I think, with this brand new app, Adobe Premiere Rush CC. Let me know how you get on with this app in the comments of this video. And if you've got any questions I can answer in future tutorials, do post them in the comments, and I'll do my best to help you. <laughs>